Hey guys, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and today, I'm going to show you how to create a Minecraft Bedrock Edition server. Let's just get started. Now, I do want to point out, I do not know if this works for every version of Bedrock Edition. I do know it works for Minecraft Pocket Edition and Minecraft Windows 10, which is now Bedrock Edition. After this video, tell me down below in the comments, uh, does this does work for Xbox so tell me in the comments it does work for Xbox or it does work for Nintendo Switch or something like that then tell me in the comments down below I'll love to hear if it does work for those versions but uh, for so I'm gonna show you how to get a at least a Minecraft Windows 10 slash Minecraft Pocket Edition Minecraft server it's going to be legit now we're on this server this website server which is called our turtles now I did a lot of videos on this guys okay if you guys want a our turtles Minecraft PC server tutorial like me just going through all the steps and stuff then go ahead and drop seven likes on this video seven likes guys and then I'll go ahead and make a Minecraft PC server tutorial like that that on this website but anyway let's get that out of the way and let's go ahead and show you how to create a minecraft server for windows 10 slash minecraft pe so down below in the description go to the first link in the description or uh where it says our turnos website and it should have the link right there um i'm just telling you that just in case if it's not the first link in the description then go over to play um let it load up because my internet is not the best internet in the world and over here is the uh, is the is the little profile we're gonna actually use and over here is how you're gonna you're gonna sign up you know email username I probably just blocked that out because I did not want you guys to see my personal information password retype password and then click this thing and then when this is all done push sign up and then it's gonna take you to let me go down and push login and it's gonna take you to this page right here and there's a different design which is why I wanted to actually redo this because there's some different stuff and don't worry about about all these ads if you do not click on them I swear you'll be fine I swear you'll be fine um it, it's just something that they just have on their websites and I I apologize if you're seeing these ads if there's an ad that you do not like or you just don't want to see anymore, you uh, sometimes the ads have a little X by them, and then you can click that, and then it's gonna you have you can say uh, stop seeing this ad, um, and then you can choose an option. I just pick a random option, but usually I pick this because I'm not interested in it. Um, you don't have to do it, but it's just really simple to just push the X and stuff, so that way it's not in the way of uh, what you're trying to do here all right anyway so this is our server page and there's a different design which is why I want to redo this how you're gonna get a minecraft windows 10 slash PE server um, uh, as you can see we have software which is vanilla minecraft uh, minecraft 1.12.2 which is actually on PC uh, what we could do is we can go over to software all right go over to software and then go to Windows 10 slash minecraft pe click that now it's gonna say install for you guys but it's gonna say reinstall because i've already tried this out so that way i don't get confused of what i'm trying to do so it will say install for you guys if you are if you've already done this then it probably will say this but if, if this is your first time it will say install which is the same thing but i'm gonna reinstall it it's gonna say uh you are you sure you want to uh, you just click it and then it's gonna put this check mark but it just popped out a little box because I already installed it before now you can actually do a few options if we go over to the options tab as you can see we got a lot of options here we could change on our server and it's just like Minecraft PC you could do anything you want um, you could do the IP now I do want to point out that if you are thinking about changing the IP you cannot change it back as soon as you change it and you got to be creative of what the IP is because a lot of people have IPs that you do not know they have and it's going to say it's gonna say that someone else has already used this IP or something like that so think of a good IP but I suggest you just keep it as it is because I don't want you guys like I uh, not be able to switch back to this so I suggest you guys do not do that next up we have the server icon now this is basically you can get a server icon you can make a custom server icon but it has to be 64 by 64 pixels 64 lawn and 64 
wide so make sure it is that size otherwise it will not work and make sure it's a PNG too uh, make sure you put like um, server dash icon dot png and then and then find it and then you can put it on here just just click the little pencil and it's gonna pop up this little window but since i do not have a server icon i'm not gonna do that but anyway um and then next up we have the mod of the day now you this doesn't like require anything you could do anything you want so just an example if you have this is just a new server or something if you ever seen on like hypixel or all those servers that are on like bedrock edition and they have those mod of the days you could do your very own like new server all right new server now and then we can push um make sure you put push this make sure you push the save icon otherwise it will not work same goes for this if you're actually going to change this make sure you push the save icon otherwise if you log out if you go over to these tabs it will just redo it it will not even save it and we also got some slots which is how many players you can have now recently they have been doing it was just like 20 like like up to 20 players now you can do uh, unlimited so we're gonna put it up to 100 why not and then also push the save icon and then go over you could go over you could just do all these options if you want you could do difficulty game mode um whitelist if you have no idea what like whitelist is basically it's you can actually have pacific people on your server so you don't have to ha just have random people on your server you have your pacific people like your friends or your cousins or your family that already plays minecraft bedrock edition but you could do pvp achievements uh, command blocks fly you know all this stuff and then spawn protection is basically when a player spawns they have that amount of time to be protected so no one hits them or anything like that so um you have spawn protection so you won't be able to die and stuff for that amount of time then we have restore backup you can actually do backups on this uh, on this website uh if you have like a really awesome server and you want to keep it uh, you could do a backup and then i suggest you do not do reinstall unless you really hate your server do not do reinstall unless you really hate your server okay uh, otherwise it's just gonna mess up everything it's gonna close down everything the only thing it won't close down is the ip and the mod of the day and I think your server icon and then your plugins. So that's the only things I won't get rid of. But everything else is just going to go like, like that. So everything's going to be switched to default. This will be already changed to 10 and stuff like that. So yeah, unless you really hate your server, do not click this button. Maybe if you accidentally did click the button, it'll bring up this little thing saying, are you sure you want to reinstall? And obviously we're going to push no because I don't want to reinstall my server right now. So if you really hate your server... Click this button. <laughs> All right, here comes the really fun part, starting up the server. And uh, let's go over to the server uh, server tab right here. Let's go over to this little bar right here. And as you can see, it already says pocket mine dash MP build 656. And that is the server thing that's gonna run your server on. Now, next up, we're gonna actually start up the server. Now. The thing I don't like about Arturnos is because it has a limit. Sometimes it has a limit of how long you have to wait before the server actually starts. And usually it takes about to one minute all the way up to an hour. So you it's it's random. It's either you have 50 minutes or 20 minutes. But um, you have to push start to start up your server so that way you can keep it going. And as you can as you can see we're, we have 20 minutes until it is done so we'll be back to you guys in a little while and after a while after it is done doing the queue it'll say you have to confirm it otherwise it will close down so make sure you push confirm and then it will load and it will also bring up this little notification with a little uh sound effect uh when it is when it wants you to confirm it and then it'll actually take a little bit less look look how fast it is going um, like, look how fast it's going. It takes one minute, and in a few seconds, it's going to say, server ready to be up. So, I'll be back to you guys in a little bit. Oh, there it goes. It says it's loading, and then it's going to load up the server. It's checking everything, and then as soon as it's done, it's going to pop up this. So, it's going to pop up this saying starting, 
and then it will burn up this little sound effect as you could hear and then there'll be a little notification just in case if you're out of the screen unless, unless you have notifications turned off in uh, Chrome or whatever website you're using and as you can see it is online now now I'm gonna hop over to Minecraft Windows 10 edition but before I do that um, you have to connect to the server so how do you do that so you think it's just with the IP huh well actually Windows 10 edition slash Minecraft PE or any pocket uh, bedrock edition servers if it uh, additions if it works um, you actually need to go down to connect and then I'll pop up the little IP as right here so the IP as you can see you're going to have to copy this and read or copy this so as you can see it's gonna pop up this random thing it's gonna say dinosaur or whatever it is and then uh, the easiest way to do it is to hover over it and see this little eye. You have to drag along it until it has this blue line, this blue kind of line across it, and then push Control C on your keyboard. And then you have to actually memorize this or do anything about that. Uh, and then uh, I'll be back to you guys in a second because I gotta load up Minecraft Windows 10 Edition. All right, here we are on Minecraft, and I had to lower the frame rate because that's just how OBS works. That's the program I use, and um. I hope it's okay still though. So go over to play and then it's going to load up and then go over to servers and then go over to add server and then this is where you do all the ports and stuff. So the server name could be anything you want. We're just going to call it Artino, uh, Arturo's server windows uh, oh you can't do it any more than that. So apparently you can only do I don't know like 20 characters I guess. And then okay, so after you do the server name, it doesn't have to be very long. It it, it just has to be a name, otherwise it pro probably will be lost of where it is. And then the server address is where you gotta paste it in. So to paste it in from the website, what you gotta do is do Control V, and it's going to copy it. So as you can see, dinosaur .arterno, uh, dot org and the uh, and the port needs to be changed too so go to, uh, over to the website then go back over to connect and then see this port right here you can either copy it or you can just read it out so as you can see it's 41630 now it's going to be different for you so make sure you do recognize it uh, make sure you copy it or either remember it so then paste it into here and then push save you can push play but it's safe to be safe and sorry to see if it works and then uh, oh my gosh they're going so quick look at that um, and as you can see, there it is. There is our server. As you can see, now it has the red dot, but that's just because I have a bad internet connection. Now, if we connect it, if we connect to the server, as you can see, it, it says connecting, generating world, and now it's going to join us into the world. It's going to take a minute. It depends on your internet connection, so be patient. If you have a bad, a bad internet connection. But here we are. Here's our server that we just made in Arturnos. And here it is. This is actually really. Wow this is a really grassy world as you can see. And uh, as you can see if I do slash game mode. So we could. I'm not really good at the slashes in this uh, in this version. Um, if we do slash game mode C. As you can see, you do not have permission to use this command. So what you gotta do is go over to the the little Chrome, the, the whatever the internet you're using, and then go over to console, go over to the console tab, and then I'll let it load because my internet is not the best in the world. And here we are. This is the console log, and basically to op yourself, you gotta do this. You gotta select the little thing here in, in the little box that go all the way down and select it. And then do OP. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit laggy. Don't worry about that. Then type in the Minecraft username, which is Lex Stewart Gaming YT. Then push enter, and it's going to it's going to do that. And then as you can see, it says Opt Lex Stewart Gaming YT. And look, and now it says you are now OP. And and now if we try and do that again, as you can see, we have creative mode. Now, I don't think you could get plugins to work in this version. Sadly, um. Um, if I do figure out a way to put plugins on this, I will let you know in a short video. But uh, yeah, you could you could do slash. Pl uh, I actually did that wrong. You could do slash plugins. As you can see, there's no plugins of it enabled. And uh, yeah, so basically that's how you create a Minecraft server 
on Bedrock Edition. You can play with your friends. It depends on how big the server is. Um, I don't know. You could say hello and chat. Obviously, no one's gonna re respond back because I, I I have no friends. But anyway, guys, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys want me to do a PC tutorial of how to get a server with our turnos, then go ahead and smash this like, uh, smash the like button down there to seven likes, and tell me down below in the comments if this does work for like Xbox, Wii U, and all those other editions of Bedrock. But that's it for me. I hope you guys have an awesome and amazing day. Hopefully, you can use this in the future for all of your little projects and stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next Minecraft video, not tomorrow, but a few days in a new Minecraft or something else video. Lexon! Oh, that's little, that, what, do you guys see that? That, that that's kind of weird. I, 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 I'm not going to say that again, okay. Um, goodbye, everybody, and have a wonderful day.